All right, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating and configuring stateless auto configuration for IPv6, or also known as Slack. Uh, stateless auto configuration is a way for uh, routers and hosts to automatically receive an IPv6 address, a, a global uh, unique address and a link local address. So here in my topology, I have one router and I got a switch with two hosts and I will configure R1 first and then R2 and R3 will auto magically receive two IP addresses. Uh, Slack gets rid of DHCP for IPv6 and there's, so there's, now there's no need for a DHCP server. Alright, so let's let's configure this. So I'm going to go into R1 and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on some debugging messages. So debug IPv6 uh, neighbor discovery messages. So I'm going to turn that on, go into config T and I'm going to be turning on IPv6 routing, so IPv6 unicast routing. Alright, so just to show you that nothing is configured, at least on the interface, I'm going to do show IPv6 interface brief. Got to do the do command. And you see fast Ethernet 00, zero has nothing assigned, and according to GNS3, this is that interface right there. So let's go on the interface fast Ethernet 00, zero and let's give it an IPv6 address. One, 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 two, 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 one, two, three, 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 with a slash sixty four prefix. And let's bring this up with a no shut. All right, so that should be good to go. You could already see it's doing some neighbor discovery uh, messages, but I will explain that further when I get to the host side. So now I'm going to bring up R2, which is going to be R2 host, and go into interface F00. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to do a do show IPv6 interface brief to show you that nothing is configured. There you go. All right. So let's automatically let's give it uh, let's assign it an IP address. We're going to do IPv6 address. And we're going to do auto config. You've seen here, obtain address using auto configuration. So cool, that's what we want. Hit that, and then let's bring it up with a no shutdown. And I'll do the same thing for R3. And uh, T, IPv6, nope, interface fast Ethernet 00, zero. IPv6 address, auto config. No shut. Alright, let me expand the window for R2. And here you can see that there is a whole bunch of neighbor discovery protocols. And let's uh, see what we have here. So after I did a no shut on R2 host, first thing it did is sent out a neighbor solicitation showing FE80 colon colon and uh, these four octets um, will represent its interface identifier. And the way uh, Slack works in IPv in IPv6 is the link local address starts with FE80. Whenever you see FE80, that that means that it is a, a link local address, and it is only uh, an address uh, locally to the link. So no other link should ever have this address. And the last four octets right here uh, uses the MAC address of, of the device. And in the middle, since it is 48 bytes, and in IPv6, four octets will equal 64 uh, bytes. I'm sorry, 64 bits. Uh, Slack enters this FFFE in the middle of a MAC address, so whenever we see that, we, we see that it is the UE or EUI64 process. So 
First thing it does is it sends out this neighbor solicitation saying, hey, I'm trying to use this address, and sends that out to the network. And then after that, he'll do a, uh, um, a DAD, which is a duplicate address detection, and when no, one when no one responds back saying, I don't have that address, he knows that his address is unique. So then from there, he's going to be sending neighbor advertisements saying, hey, I have this address. And this is the link local process of getting an IPv6 address. And uh, neighbor solicitations and neighbor advertisements, they are strictly for link local addresses. So let's see what else we have here, if we have anything else. All right. I think we need to go up. All right. We also see this sending RS on FastEthernet 00. RS meaning a router solicitation. So it's asking, is anyone out there that's, a, that's a sending router advertisements? Um, I need one. So he's sending out pretty much, it's not a broadcast because there's no broadcast messages in IPv6. It's a multicast. So he's sending out a multicast message requesting uh, some sort of layer 3 device for router advertisements. So he, he's multicast that out. He receives a router of advertisement from this address. Oops. And when he gets that advertisement, he, he looks at it. And from there, he can actually get a, glo a unique global IPv6 address. And you can see here, sending neighbor solicitation with this number, uh, with this address right here. 2001111222233333. That is the slash 64 prefix that we set on router 1. And actually, if we expand this a little bit, we can see when we first got that request, it will send that prefix out. Let's see here, where is it? Sending. Here, when he received that route solicitation from uh, this should be uh, host two, he sends his router advertisement to that guy, or at least to this multicast address, meaning everyone in this, uh, everyone on this link, and he's sending him the 64 prefix. You see right there. So R2, and the same thing happens for R3. They receive this advertisement, they receive this prefix from R1, and then from there they enter their MAC address at, in the last 64 bits of the IPv6 address, and that is seen right here. And it's using this uh, EUI64 process. So if we do, uh, if we do a show IPv6 interface brief, we should be able to see two uh, IPv6 addresses, one link local and one a global unicast address. And here we do. There we go. R3 should also be the same. Let me expand this. And show IPv6 brief. Let me spell it right. And there you go. They also have a, uh, another address. So. Here you can see the MAC address for this device starts with C203, 2C, and then DCO here for R2. It is C202F and then F40. So this is the demonstration of stateless auto configuration for IPv6 and how neighbor discovery, neighbor advertisements, router solicitations, and router advertisements, how they work in IPv6. So, that is it. I hope this was informative for you. I'd like to thank you for watching.